I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. For another Wednesday Taste with Tosh. Sister Jordan and sister and I decided we we're gonna go to Taco Bell, which is my favorite <laughs> place in my memory to go because that's as a kid, that's where we all hung out at, Taco Bell. So you see, I got my huge fat fries because I'm hungry. I don't think I'll eat all of this because I didn't expect this burrito to be this big. It's fucking huge, you guys. Look at that full of cramp, packed full of beef, cheese, beans, red, green sauce, cheese, pico de gallo, lettuce. So let's, we'll just see. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hungry and I was saving my appetite of course to do these so we shall just see okay so how you guys doing are you being good to yourself hmm i hope so because honey you know i'm always good to myself right i know i know i'm gonna try to smack more but that voice from my mother <laughs> oh i'm seven up i love my colorless so does rarely only on Wednesdays <laughs> so Robert you know I'm thinking of you so I got a nice big soda so I can burp all along okay it's time this burrito. Oh my God, I didn't expect it to be this big. Because usually I just get, and I got that for later, three green burritos with just beans and cheese. Let me see. I can't really see too good. The lettuce is fresh, that's good. We got a little teeny piece of princess, my dog. But these fries, you guys, are the shit. And of course, instantly it reminds you of being in high school. Because it just brings back those memories for me. So of course, every time I get this delivered, because you know it's hot here in Vegas, right? Yeah, so I have stuff delivered, right? I only go out at nighttime, <laughs> really. And yesterday when I went out, oh my gosh, you guys got to look at my Facebook channel. The thunder and lightning, oh my God, it was so beautiful. It lasted, well, I stopped recording it after an hour, but it went on for a really, really, really long time. And it's so beautiful, I love thunderstorms. I just keep praying that nothing happens to anybody's house or something, you know? Or all those casinos on the strip. Okay, Tosh, squeeze from the bottom. Squeeze from the bottom. Push it out the top. Push it out the top. Mm. Even though it's not real, real Mexican food, it's, it's, it's pretty good for not, not real Mexican food. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I don't particularly care for all this tortilla, so I'm happy that it's good for her. Okay, so get squeezed to the front. Get squeezed to the front. Let's wrap you up some more. I do like that. You know, this is nice and fresh, though. Oh, and my onions. Nice and fresh. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Normally I just have the, normally I just buy like four green burritos, green sauce, you know, bean and cheese burritos. And I stuck them in the freezer 
And then when I don't feel like cooking, I just get, you know, set one out. I gotta wipe the salt off first. I don't need no salt. Okay, there you go. Boy, this brings back such good memories. After high school football games, you know, you go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Del Taco. <laughs> and they have a really good egg burrito for breakfast. Was that Del Taco or was that Noggles? I think that was Noggles. Our egg burrito was big like this one. For like $1.99. So anyway, I uh, <laughs> I had some really interesting customers. Tomato, stay there. So one customer said, "I want to see you." I eat with chopsticks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you see me trying to use some chopsticks? I'll try it. I'll do that next week. I'm expecting lots of customers to pay me for their jewelry they ordered. I make jewelry, in case you didn't know. And, um, I found what was told to me to be a really good Chinese restaurant. It's clean, yada, yada, yada. And so I'm going to try it out, hopefully next week. Mm. These are probably the only french fries that I don't need any ketchup. And thank you. To my new subscribers that did mention a few microphones that they use, so I'm checking those out because eventually I just want to do ASMR videos. So my customers like, okay, Tasha, you're always asking us on your fan page what do you want us, what we want you to try. I want to see you <laughs> eat some uh, uh, sushi with chopsticks, and I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> you know, I don't need, I don't even do chopsticks. I have the food all over the floor. And that's okay. I didn't give any limits, so that's okay. You know. Okay, stay wrapped up. Hey, what's the drive? If you can't try something new. Because you guys already know. Let me wipe that off real quick. You guys already know. Try just about anything. Just about. I'm not bungee jumping. Who was it? D.L. Hughley says, that's too much like lynching. <laughs> I never quite thought of it that way, but I can see it from his perspective. Anyway. She says, then I want you to try. I'm like, these are interesting requests. Why are you? Said, because I'm not out to eat no, um, um, Chinese food that's not cooked and other stuff like that. I'm like, well, neither am I. I mean, don't get me wrong, some sashimi, okay, of course, edamame, and, um, what was the other thing? Um, the California rolls, of course, is mostly what I eat. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Robert. There you go. 
and um, every now and then I'll have uh, I'll ha every now and then I'll have some sashimi and other stuff. I like trying stuff. I'm not afraid to eat stuff. Except when I lived in San Jose, it was easy to get fresh seafood living so close to San Francisco and those waters are still pretty much kind of sort of clean, you know? So that seafood was, was good. And yes, I do look forward to doing one of those um, lobster <laughs> videos. As soon as I act, because you know you got to do your research. I don't want you getting lobster from Maine, you know, today, and you don't put it out right away. Because, you know, anything that smells fishy ain't good. And then I have to find a good market, yada, yada, yada. Because this, um, oh, I've only been to Walmart. I haven't been to the other stores around here yet. But I gotta go do my research. Because it looks so good. <laughs> With all those other people. Except I gotta have mine cracked up and ready. Because I'm not out to be poking my fingers and have to cut this and, you know, all that mess. So, all that mess got to go. I want to sit and eat. And that's it. There's a little crunch for you. <laughs> I can't wait to get a good mic. I cannot wait to get a good mic. I already got my stories lined up that I'm going to whisper while I eat. Mm, mm, mm. Band practice is going through my head. Yep. In my younger days, <laughs> not that I'm a hundred halfway, no, over halfway, um, I was into tall flags, drill team, rifles, mm. and um, I was learning how to be that baton twirler chick, whatever they're called. That was fun. Drum major at those were some good days. So every time I order from here, all those memories come flooding back. What's this like? She wanted me to try some. Oh, that star fruit. But I looked at videos on star fruit. It's not. If you're not accustomed to eating a lot of odd tropical fruit, it gives you a stomachache for days, according to the videos that I watched. So that's out. I'm not eating anything somebody tells me I should be cautious of. I'm retired trying to, you know, get monetized and have a good life. Make my jewelry, watch movies, talk to you guys, and enjoy life. Not be, not be, um, sorry. Not be stuck in some doctor's office and all that mess, you know? So, that's out. But I do like cactus apples. And you know, here in the damn desert, you would think that there would be a whole bunch of cactus apples. I, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen one yet, and I've lived here for six months. other tropical stuff too like the um oh shoot what's that big huge thing called and they slice it in sections and you pull it apart 
And it looks kind of doughy when people on mukbangs eat it. Dang it. I'm sorry. I can't think of it. It's a fruit. A huge fruit. With prickles on the outside. Then I... Something like that. I do want to try one of those. And I want to try some jackfruit. You know, all the vegans swear by that. And it's tasting like real meat. I knew I was hungry, but I didn't think I was going to finish this off. Um, I got to find me a good um, jackfruit. Mental note, turn the phone off next time, Tosh. Mm -hmm. I don't eat this every week. Though you know I want to, right? Lost another couple of pounds, gotta keep it off. Hmm, after this goes down, we gotta go for another walk. Unless it's already 110. I don't go out at, above 85. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. Oops. Today is Monday, right? Hmm. Okay, there. Sorry about that. My customers are so funny. My complaints, thank God I have them. They help me survive. So one of these days I'll make, I'll take you in the office and I'll eat over there so you can see some of what I do. Since I just got new tables and redid my whole office. Good comfort food. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so funny. Older people who still haven't heard of mukbang. Like, what is that? Why would you want to eat food in front of people? <laughs> well, I know before I before I moved here, and ever would think of do eating in front of people. I would watch them so that I would have somebody to eat dinner with. If, um, and then, uh, what is it? La, uh, La Pucha and Eat with Chunky? You guys are the shit. Man. <laughs> the things that they tell us about their life is just amazing. Amazing, and I love it because well, La Pucha she doesn't eat with her husband, but eat with Chunky she eats with her husband, and she's just absolutely so adorable. Both of them are they're so adorable, and of course you know, Sass S A S A S M R channel, I love her, and again whatever mic she has, I want that one. But now I'm thinking, her and her husband, Sash, and her husband are on vacation in Mexico. I'm wondering she must do her videos like in, in the closet or something. Because even when she just goes, 
You can hear it really loud. And I'm like, I need that mic. So I can whisper from here. And smack from here. You guys hear it loud. <laughs> so I'm on vacation. And she did a video. And the smacking isn't as loud. Now, I say it like that because when I got all my teeth ripped out, you know, I didn't, I didn't have any teeth for like two years, so I would love to hear people crunching. <laughs> so 2013, yeah, 2013 is when I really started watching a lot of mukbang. Of people eating nachos. That was my favorite thing to watch. Except now that Sass has that damn uh, half a good microphone. So honey, she can, she can bite into a marshmallow and you can hear every squish. Every when she swallows, you can hear every swallow. I like her. And of course, black um, hoodie. Be so cute. Be lovelies. She's so funny. She likes to eat a lot of seafood. <laughs> Her cute little self. You know, and it's just really, really amazing. Excuse me, because even before I thought of doing this, I still have five other channels. I made like 8,000 videos. Mostly on, you know, motivational stuff. Sorry, Robert. I tried. Um, mostly on, you know, motivational type, spiritualism stuff. And um, I don't know. I don't remember how I originally, originally found uh, mukbangs. But anyway, it was, it's interesting. So I look forward to sharing a lot of stories with you. <clears throat> I'm not shy. And as you can see, I've gotten over my fear of eating in front of people. <laughs> so hey, I'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I pretty, I pretty much talk about a lot of things that <laughs> make people uncomfortable, you know, like sex and being open and honest with each other. Right, girls, stop accepting, expecting men to change. Men, talk more. It doesn't matter how old we are. If we're 17 or 77, women still expect men to change. Most women, excuse me. I know. I know you're you because you're not Tasha. Hmm. Sister has been with her mate for 16 years. We just forget sometimes. After we get comfortable with each other, we forget. We still have to work at not taking each other for granted. In a relationship or a boss or secretary, whatever. Eventually, it always gets to that point where you just feel so comfortable with somebody. You think you could say anything and they're like, ah, oh, TMI. I'm talking about walking around in my house with my panties and bra on. That's too much information? Not if it's a first time conversation, yeah, that's too much information, but I mean, I, I knew this lady for years. <laughs> and she's like, oh, too much information. I'm like, okay, can't be myself with her. All right, no big thing. The other things to talk about.
billions of other things that talk about. But you now people like that, I just let them lead the conversation. And I keep my stuff to myself. Princess! Princess? There. Yeah. Scared me. I thought something happened to my dog. And the most important thing to remember is everybody isn't you and everybody didn't have your mother. And I had a good mother that reminded me of that often. People don't use their common sense because they're too busy shitting on you. I cannot believe I the whole thing. Beautiful dubs. So we just remember to be good to ourselves first. We can teach others how to treat us, right? Man, that was good. is good all the time ups downs don't matter I ain't dead yet so life is good and thank you for being here having dinner with me I appreciate you for that and just know I thank you for liking subscribing and sharing you know I appreciate it Because as soon as I'm monetized and buy a really good um, pen on mic or even the mic that stands still, there's this really nice restaurant I'm going to take you guys to. It's really the ambiance and everything, okay? Um, oh, shoot, I can't think of the name of it right now. And yet, I want to really save that one, that one, especially for a really good mukbang. Because even with dentures, I don't eat a lot of crunchy stuff. So I want to save that for this particular place where I would eat a whole bunch of crunchy stuff. <laughs> so, I love you guys. Go have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you next Wednesday with Taste with Tosh. And... Dana and Jordan and Janae. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye.